Hello everybody, this is Umi Tensho with a, another drawing video. This time around, you can now see me to a degree. So this is my compromise with showing myself and dealing with my social anxiety. Eventually one day I'll be comfortable enough to show my face and all that stuff. So what we're drawing today is the uh, Ronin Warriors characters. I believe it's Rubis, uh, Sakmet, Dice. Uh, Kale and Dr. Koji. So, four villains and one good guy. So, I've had a very interesting week. I had a lot of calculus homework. And it wasn't that bad. Um, it was just like all that. It was kind of weird. It's like all Oh, this is a typical answer this and all of that stuff, you know. Here's like five or ten problem set, uh, problems, solve them, get the right answer. Um, the weirdest thing, however, was the quiz. I guess because they don't want people like Googling up the stuff during the quizzes. They had to do something called Honor Law, and it's weird. I had to basically like do like right now, but with my actual face, do like a webcam, uh, and then, I guess a proctor would watch us take the quiz. I got flagged once because I lowered my head too much. Um, when I get deep into a math problem, I will get closer to the page face-wise. Um, and, and I guess it helps me think better. Or it's just a force of habit, I don't know. Um, but I hear I'm doing the shading. Um, but yeah, that was weird. I, I personally don't I personally don't care for it because I'm spending more time trying to keep myself upright than actually thinking and doing the quiz and solving the, and solving the problem. Luckily, it wasn't that bad, the quiz itself. It was just mostly like graphing limits. It was just, no, well, that was one, of, it was three questions. One was graphing limits, one was finding limit, and then one was just like basic arithmetic, sort of. It was just like find the limit, at this point, and then use that as part of the formula. That, that what so much? I just don't. I just don't like it. You know, I feel like if you don't trust it well, I would hate this point. I'm about to suggest going to the testing site, but it's going to be interesting how what they're going to want us to do. I don't want to do the test because I'm just like they're doing all this for some quizzes. I can only imagine how terrible they are when it comes. So there's my Anubis. I think the next one I want to say is, but I'm probably wrong. I guess I'll find out. I'll find out here. But yeah, it was just weird. Um, look in here how I did the. Yep, I think it's Kale, because there goes a scar. He has a scar on his. I think they have a scar up face. He has two scars that I mean. I really like I really really like and keep guys being characters for some reason. Of course I gotta add it in eventually. And redo that. I go for I find a way that I do eyes because these characters are not just like looking at you and all that stuff that I sometimes make them look like they're, they're um, goopy eyed like one eye is going one direction and the other and it's not it's just perspective I'm um, in the official uh, artwork so one thing I did not like about this particular um, reference photo that I use for his civilian there's not that much I mean sub armor um, there's not that much online in terms of, at least I'm not looking in the right place but the back of his head is just like black. It's like it's mixing with the background. The background is black with some blue. That's why I draw a little cloud thing over there. That's gonna be shaded in. That's like, like be a good indication of uh, his hair is not extended. So um, I don't think he has a flowing mullet. It does look like that though. Oh my! I, I I'm just he's, he's making me think of rabbits, right? Well, then again, I think um, the main character of the second city also has. Then me shading in the air, the um, other area. By this point, I was just done with it. 
But yeah, oh, and then I overslept on Friday and Saturday, technically. Um, oh, I couldn't do nothing. I couldn't get nothing done that I need to go do Friday. So it's gonna be interesting when I call on Tuesday and say, hey, I need to do all the stuff at the last minute. I'm sorry. So that's gonna be an interesting experience. That is to say it. Okay. Oh, do it. Getting darker in the lines. I want to say sentiment, but I think this dice. Yeah. That's bad in order to find it, except for the last character. I didn't really think I want eight. No, no, the doctor. Doctor title. I am getting the eyes. Is he? I think he's wearing an iPad. I think Dice is wearing. Huh. I thought that was like the perspective where sometimes it looks like one eye it looks like it's like covered in darkness, but. It's Shadow and whatnot, but I think he's wearing an iPad. Yes, I'll find out when I watch the show and I can see if that's just a shadow or that's just an actual like face accessory. I should enjoy doing his hair. This hair was much more pleasant than doing Kale. Oh, yes, yeah, so I'm in his armor. Just doing some in his hand. Then I decided to go ahead and just color in all the dark parts that I can see. I don't know if his hair is blue or white. I think it's white. I just guess the background just added in like a blue. It's technically a blue shade. I'm not using color here. But it's white on um blue. No, it's a yeah, blue on white of the hair, but in this case it's like gray on white. Being in his armor, now that piece that's not being pulled in, it's like a yellowish green. A little more yellow than green. I just left it colored. Color styles. I'm darkening the lines on this one. I'm just darkening the lines on I really like how I did the back of his hair at least. They were dice. Alright, and now I'm doing second mat. Second mat was. Uh, yeah, he definitely was easier. Anything was easier than Kale at least. His reference photo is very small, so I try to keep. I try my best to um, keep. Because when you try to do big faces, you know, the bigger the face, the bigger, you know, the more detail there should be on there. So trying to take this, which you're seeing now, and trying to blow it up is no, it's a no for me. Especially with, well, I don't know if it's the hair color in the other eye. Covering the, covering the other eye. I think he has green hair. I wouldn't up. I just realized towards the end, the bottom left is all mess. It's all like not proportional at all. It's not matching up. But I'll end up getting that fixed. I just go ahead and work on your shoulder. This reference photo didn't have a lot of detail, so mine didn't have a lot of detail. Left, no, the other uh, left arm had more, more closer than the right. It's kind of turned a little, kind of died. He was looking at you, guy. This is my reference photo. Dark. That portion. I like doing the back portion first so I can just because when it comes to pencil and doing dark dark shading or coloring in pressure and it's energy 
I want to do it last when you don't tire your hand out. So go ahead and knock out the black as much as you can. I'm adding in the shading part. Getting in. What you can do is shade in the Pacific parts, then go over it, and then the parts that are already pre shaded, they'll be darker hue than the rest of the stuff that you have color in. Almost looks like he's wearing a suit with a backpack. He's not, he's wearing like a form fitting armor. Both not as leverage his transform state. Which I'm doing next week by the way. If you want to schedule I'm doing the transformed armors. Kinda of mixed on him. I like him but at the same time I don't love him. Of um, this one I'm doing Dr. Cozy. I don't know what happened, but I just had me in the draw me in the reference photo just we just clicked. I feel like this one is the best one of the night. As opposed to what happened last week with drawing his granddaughter. But I just feel like I resonated. I guess he's not wearing armor, but it just like the face shape is just on point is just I can be happy. Like I'm, I'm happy with how this will end up. Getting some of that hair in. Sometimes you just gotta do one side, do you know, one portion of the side, and go jump on this with it. Like his right here or some of it at least. Some other um, bottom right here. Or his hair. There's some of the, the hair detail. I feel like it's enough. his jacket. It's like a brown jacket. I think it's like green and pink. A brown jacket, green shirt. Yeah, green shirt and then pink t-shirt or you know how some people they wear like a very thin um, shirt under it. Not necessarily a t-shirt but like a t-shirt. No, Wearing his mustache. I always be, I personally am always, whenever I do any sort of uh, face shading, I'm always worried about it. Even though I'm going to smudge it in, but they're wrong, but I'm always worried. Especially with some of these designs, like the shading design, well, like with the ancient one, they will just, you know, they, they make or break their facial, facial features because they literally are the facial features. They don't have like dark lines and whatnot, defined lines. It's like what you want to do is lift to a hit high. You need shade like that. Like, dang. Fucking in some of his features. Like, a, I, this is my favorite one in a long time. So far, I like one of my favorites. I said a thousand times, but I really love how he turned, how he turned out. Okay, I'm dark. Even though I already smudged, I just going in and doing some more darkening. Got to show the shadow from his face. Got the closing. Well, I want to thank everybody who um, got to this point. Uh, you like my content, art content. There's more on the channel. If you want to see my gaming stuff, it's on the Umutento channel. Um, follow and please subscribe and please comment. See you later.